Hey guys, it's Obinuk here, and as you're probably aware, I just hit 100 subscribers, and I asked you guys what you would like me to uh, teach you guys, and I got a fair amount of responses. In fact, I had a 100% engagement rate, which is amazing, because that is extremely, extremely rare, and almost everybody gave a response, and one of the things that I was asked about is how to do one command. So basically, I'm going to be going through a bunch of viewer requests, um, and I don't have honestly a ton of time uh, for the next couple weeks, but I will be trying to get out a bunch of 50 subscriber stuff. I'm going to be doing a command block quiz, so it'll be going over the things we've gone over so far in the series. Uh, I'm going to be going over how to create one command things, and some other stuff as well. So get excited for that. Um, but this episode is, of course, about how to uh, how to go ahead and create a one command thing. So when you're talking about one command, it's really, really hard to do by hand. So when you're doing this, you're going to want to use a generator. What I found, though, is as we are in 1.10, using MC Edit as a tool doesn't work very well. Uh, so we are going to be using an online tool, which is the Command Combiner by Mr. Goretto. And uh, it, is, it does kind of suck that, you know, we, we aren't going to be able to use full structures, but it won't be that bad, luckily. <laughs> so anyways, here, what we're going to do is in this, we're going to have a one command thing that first off runs tell raw at a once, um, set block all the time, effect at a slowness when it starts, and tp at a one when it starts. So we are going to figure out how to do that using this command generator, and it is really, really simple, so I will teach you how to do it. All right, so these are just the default settings here. Structure rotation has to do with which direction it will generate in. So, for example, x plus is, um, let's see, where is it? Uh, x plus is this way, uh, you know, x minus is that way, z plus is this way, and z minus is that way. So you could decide where you want to generate. It doesn't honestly matter that much. But what we're going to do here is create ourselves our command generator uh, command thing. So the first command is we want this to run just when it starts up. And I would definitely prefer to use MC Edit, but you'll see exactly what this is. So when it starts up, we're going to run that it is installed and let everybody know. And if we want it always to, from a certain command block, have stone set above it. Um, and also when it starts up, which uh, I'll, I'll explain exactly what I'm doing in a little bit. Um, and I actually think I have to remove that space. And so in it uh, is a special argument for this command generator. And what it means is that if you add it before commands, it'll only run it on in it or when it starts up. So currently, uh, and if I show you guys here, uh, let me actually go 10 blocks up so that it doesn't ruin anything. There we go. If we try and run this, you'll notice all of those commands are run. I went up, it said installed, I went slow for a second, and the start up. And it's just, it's a really great way to do it. You know, you get you get a nice structure, and you could add signs and whatever. So that is a really nice way to do it. And you guys can go ahead and do some research on how to actually handwrite these. But as you could tell, it's 1,029 characters just for this. Um, so the upside as well to using this is that using the init um, is... Obviously not something you have access to in vanilla or using the MC edit filter usually. Um, which is just really, really helpful, by the way. Sorry for all these ums. You could have it run a hopper clock. I'm not sure exactly what 1.9 server science means. Offset is how far away from the command block you want it to be. Um, and box length and width, of course, you can mess around with. But yeah, guys, so if you want to learn more about this, I will have a link to this tool down in the description below. It is a really awesome tool, and you can also find Mr. Greta's One Command Creations there. Um, again, be looking out uh, pretty soon for some more videos about all of this. And thank you again for 50 subscribers. It is just amazing to me that I got 50, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting 200. Uh, I mean, I can't promise that, of course. But, you know, I think if, if, if I keep up, we'll probably be able to get to 100 in the next couple months. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below. And again, go over to my other video called Help and uh, go ahead and let me know exactly what you want help with so that I could go ahead and create a video for you on exactly what you want. Um, the person who requested this, actually, I should probably go ahead and show here. The person who requested, oops, sorry about that, my pop filter just fell. 
so yeah, if you go to my channel, there's a video called Help, um, which doesn't, it didn't really make a thumbnail or anything. It was a very kind of last minute videotape thing. But I just want to show you guys um, what I'm planning to do before I end off this episode, which of course I'm jacking it out as I always do. So um, yeah, I'm going to be, of course, teaching how to create one command creation. So thank you, Sega Sonic Chaos Genesis, for that suggestion. Um, Ignacio Campos Panios likes the idea of an adventure map, so that's where I got the idea for maybe doing a quiz. Um, an overview and on website about all Minecraft commands. I do want to answer this one specifically in a video. So what I am going to plan to do, and, and I'll probably also go over this one in my next command block video, just so that uh, whoever wrote it will, will know. So as you guys know, I own my website, wavejump.us. So my idea right here is what I may do is I may, I'll make a compendium Basically, I'll have it so you could go to like wavejump.us and uh, slash uh, slash compendium. And currently, right now, by the way, if you want to check a sub count, I made a little sub counter here that that uses an API. So if you want to check who made it, it's right there, um, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I'm thinking if if you guys like the idea of a compendium with all my command things and you know, diff and yeah, and how to create command creation. I have another idea there, which is I'm going to be going over one of my older command block contraptions, which uh, I've made a couple of command block contraptions before, believe it or not. Um, I've made experience collectors. I've made, I mean, they weren't contraptions that got too big, but they were pretty cool contraptions anyway. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to end off this episode here. Thanks for watching. Bye.